Time Show with head writer Matt Walker. I'm guest announcer Mike Glazer. Our guest today, you know her from the TV show episodes on Showtime and currently on Impastor on TV Land, Mercea Monroe. And your host, a man destined to throw the worse first pitch than 50 Cent, Stephen Kramer Glackman. Glazer bringing the heat. So much heat. <laughs> so much heat. Great Almost intro. as much heat as I'm going to bring when I go to the Padres game next week to throw out the first pitch of the baseball games. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Really, that's how you're supposed to say it, right? Base, for the baseballs. I'm going to throw baseballs. Yes. It's gonna be, you're not going to believe the sports you're I You're going to have do. like a day of triumph on the 23rd and a day of humiliation on the 22nd. It's yeah. going to be fantastic. Yeah, no, no. It's it, how I like it. I like pairing things up. Bad yeah. things with good things. Do you have to warm up your arm? I I don't know which arm to use. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure which is the right arm It's not going to make it. any difference. It, it's not it doesn't matter. Good. It's, bu- it's going to be terrible. Uh, they're making me a Jersey, uh, and it, I, I have. It's going to say Storks, and the date of our movie coming out on the back. Oh, that's so oh. awesome! Very excited, and I'm going to get it framed, and mm-hmm. then I'm going to do it with the little plaque. I'm going to make a big deal of it, <laughs> and then I'm going to hang yeah. it in my office. People are going to get go, a photo of you oh, throwing the ball. Oh, you're so athletic! Who is this? <laughs> Who is Storks? Is that a baseball player for the Padres? <laughs> that's right. Like that's the Very. name I pitched under. Yeah, you know, I was a professional. Uh, I was gonna say football player. That's how much I know <laughs> about sports. I'm bad at it. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be embarrassing for everybody. I love baseball when they get it in the basket. Right? Oh, no, yeah. it's like the uh, well, yeah. there is a basket catch people can make. Oh, oh. Jesus. shut up, shut up, Matt. <laughs> you know too much. You know too much. I'm bringing him with me so yeah. he can witness it oh. and, and make fun uh, of him relentlessly. Of That's the whole point. <laughs> it's gonna be a whole. That's the plan. How are you with sports, uh, Mercer? Are you good at sports? Oh n- no. Can you play? Have you ever played? In I mean, I ran track, but in mm-hmm. like the fourth heat. Are you a Runyon Canyon person? Do you do the Runyons? Club, club Runyon. Yeah, are you a Club Runyoner? I went the other day for the first time in years, like five or ten years, and I was like, oh, it was like, oons, oons, oons. <laughs> Girls just, in bikinis. Yeah. And, oh, my oh, my gosh. gosh. It's an ordeal it's up scene. there. Yeah, it's a whole situation. Yeah. Do you do, do you work out a lot? Because you're in, in terrific yeah, shape. What do you do? Where do you, um, where do you... I do yoga most, uh-huh. most every day uh, yeah. with a little ballet and like, some boxing maybe like once a week yeah boring my girlfriend's on that uh what's that what's that thing called the class pass she just class oh, it's pass great. yeah you ever do that thing i don't the studio go to is right by my house but class pass is awesome yeah yeah it's a thing what's class pass? guys what it is is like you sign up <laughs> and then you get to go to as much uh as many classes as you want in like a month oh, so great. yeah yeah so uh for like girls who are doing taking all these classes dan- like 30 you know, bucks yeah. a class it's mm-hmm. expensive yeah. yeah so it's like like 100 bucks or 150 bucks or whatever mm-hmm. for the yeah. month it. you Smart just can't go to the same place more than like three times or something there's some rule okay. yeah but there's so many in la yeah yeah i That's go good. you know what's really funny is i go with her to these classes mm-hmm. and then i just sit outside and have my lunch yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and i just watch sit there i just sit outside the window <laughs> <laughs> looking at dead ass <laughs> like, yeah there's some nice asses in there <laughs> it's a lot of fun uh, Mercea, <laughs> you and I have known each other for a long time. Yes. We were in a movie together. That we were. It's a has... phenomenon in Canada. Yeah. Here's <laughs> a question for hear. you. Is it? Yeah. It, it really is. It really is. What, um, when was that? What year? Do we know? Let's take it. I'm going to pull it up right now. I'm okay. going to guess 2007. Uh, that's pretty, that's pretty close, buddy boy. Is pretty it? close. Was it that long ago? Yeah. It's a long time ago. It's, I was uh, only 10. You wink, 10. wink, wink. Yes. Uh, no, it was 2010. Wow. Wow. 2010 is when it came out. Mm-hmm. So we shot so it before 2008. That. Yeah. 2008, 2009. Yeah. Um, does it haunt you did as much you... as it haunted me? <laughs> Wait, did it take that movie two years to come out? What movie? It, it was called The 41 Year Old Virgin That Knocked Up Sarah Marshall and Felt Super Bad About It. <laughs> oh. It was a parody <laughs> movie of all Judd Apatow's comedy movies right a, okay it. a comedy movie that parodies <laughs> comedy movies yes just to give you an idea well, of how one of my favorites growing up fucking was like, ridiculous don't that be could be a menace to south central while drinking your juice, juice in the, in the hood. Hood. Yeah. Like yeah. That but kind of that thing. was a movie uh parodying uh, uh gangster movies, gangster movies yeah. not parodying <laughs> 
comedy <laughs> movies. So we we did a it was I mean it was it was uh, uh, it was so fun. It was so much fun. And now so your fun. other co star is now on SNL. That is very true. Who's on SNL? That it ju- they just announced it yesterday. That Melissa, Melissa Villasenor, Villasenor, who was Sarah in the movie, she played Sarah Silverman in the movie. Oh, when we did the stand-up comedy scene, yes, yes, yes. She has been cast on Saturday Night Live as a series regular. She, that's so great. She, I yeah, don't know her well. Deal. I mean, I, not well at all. Yeah. But that's wonderful. Yeah. Super, super funny. Good we had a her. lot of great people in that uh, in that movie. Uh, we had Brian Callen, yes, who was great. who was a, a, a terrific, a terrific guy. He's on the Goldbergs and all sorts of great stuff. We had um, Noreen uh, DeWolf. Yeah, Noreen DeWolf, who is oh, yeah. currently on Anchorman. Management. Anger management. She was, but you yeah. were on an episode. Of I was, yeah. yeah. That know. must have been fun going and seeing her again. It was great. Well, she's a friend of mine, so I see oh, her yeah. not relatively regularly. Are she's they still great. filming that show? Or is it sort of done? Anger management is done. Because yeah. By the way, I was a huge fan of that show. Like I watched every episode that I ever saw, and then like they. He had a couple of weird things go on halfway right yeah. through that one, and there was like, is are they making more? Or are they not making more? But. I like, think, I thought it was a good follow-up to what he'd done before. Like, I really enjoyed that show. Yeah, they made, I mean, they made a ton of them. Yeah, yeah they had 100, a, he did 100 episodes. They did like 100 yeah. episodes in like a year and a half. Like, yeah. they just cranked them out and they did whatever. Wait yeah. Term. yeah. Yeah, but that was an interesting uh, way of us kind of starting a, a, a friendship, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, because you, you start working on this thing and you're like, where are we? We're in downtown Los Angeles at this weird little studio. And it was so wacky. It was so wacky and so weird. And there was all these lookalikes everywhere. So there was like oh a Russell God. Brand lookalike. Yeah. There was a, was so- a, a, a Jonah Hill lookalike yeah. who really did look like Jonah exactly Hill. Exactly like him. He took a lot of pride in looking like Jonah Hill. And he talked about it. He still talks about it a lot. Did, did to they this just day. like go to Hollywood Boulevard and be like, hey, everybody, get in the van. We're going to go make a movie. <laughs> basically, basically. And then they had like a couple of like, you know, there was like some great people and some really fun people and but we're in downtown los angeles at this weird little studio and we're yes. shooting for like you know i don't know how long we shot that for but it felt like a couple weeks that we were there it had to be i don't i have a terrible i have the memory the size of a p yeah i don't remember how <laughs> long after tenure. doing that movie did you get episodes was it a couple years after i that's a great question let's see episodes we just finished the fifth season so that was about six i must have been right after ish yeah. you know give yeah, or take. Right around that. because i got episodes i was still living on my friend's patio what so i must have been Ooh, doing no that way. when we did yeah. our movie were you really yeah i mean indoor enclosed patio <laughs> Yeah, oh. I wasn't still, out in the saying, element. Yeah, you're just like living out in there. <laughs> yeah, it's like half homeless. <laughs> if it's no, outside, it's, it's half homeless. It was enclosed. <laughs> enclosed, right. it's like ten percent homeless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what but, I, did, do they have lawn furniture or regular furniture? I had a bed in there because okay. it was a sliding okay. glass door, so okay, it was closed. That's, that's it was like a bedroom. All right. Well, that's, that's kind fine. of that's that's a little bit. One of our friends lived on a guy's couch in Koreatown for the whole time we were doing Big Time Rush. He was living on a couch, and now he owns in Koreatown a now, beautiful house in the Hollywood Hills. Yeah. Wow. Because now he's a giant millionaire. But wow. that, single know. or single? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. excuse me. He's very good looking. He makes the three of us look like we should be living under a bridge. <laughs> we took a, we went to we got to meet Mel Brooks together, like all of us. And oh, it was wow. uh, Glickman and myself and then this guy, and then we have this picture of like us with Mel Brooks, and all the comments were not like, Hey, how cool it's Mel Brooks. They're yeah. like, Hey, who's the guy on the right? Every comment on <laughs> Every the photo, comment was like, That guy's gorgeous. Who is that? It's David Cade, people. Uh. It's, it's he's beautiful. He's a beautiful man. I'd be yeah. more excited about Mel. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. It was great. It was, it was so nice. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty incredible. Oh, I got to tell you a story about you're talking about lookalikes. Yes, I was please. talking to a friend of mine the other day, and she's apparently friends with one of the Johnny Depp lookalikes on Hollywood Boulevard, but she can't remember his name. And she said <laughs> so not great she was friends. walking around, <laughs> but like she was like walking around. It's like she has his number, and then she sees like the Johnny Depp lookalike, and she walks up to him. She's like, "Hey, how's it going?" And the guy looked at her, he didn't know because it was the wrong Johnny Depp lookalike. So <laughs> oh, she's that's to the great! Wrong one. Yeah. Oh, I love that because there's like three of them. Then she goes to like another one, thinking it might be the guy, and she's like. No, that's not the guy. And then she finally found the right guy. Was oh, talk to. You know, I dated a girl once uh, for three weeks, mm-hmm. and uh, all I knew was that her name was Hun. That's, I, I didn't, <laughs> she was she wasn't like uh, not you know she was like a nice looking girl, but mm-hmm. I couldn't figure out her name. She never said her name in the three weeks mm-hmm. of us going out. We went out for dinner constantly. I had her name in my phone as Hun. That's like and a, then that's like a Seinfeld episode. Yeah, yeah. it really yeah. was. Yeah. And I try, you know what I tried to do is I said to her one night, I go, are you I Mulva? Go, <laughs> yeah. I said, I said uh, she said, Hey, um, can I have a, uh, can I have a beer? And I said, I think I have Let to me check, check your ID. ID. Yeah. That's yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. And she goes, 
uh, oh, oh, uh, show me my ID. I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see your ID. And she goes, she goes, why do you want to look at my ID? Did you forget my name? Uh, <laughs> And I go, I go, oh yeah, I totally did. And she goes, <laughs> what's my name? Well, and what's my name? And I go, oh, listen, hon, we're not going to get into this. And she goes, oh my God, you don't know my name. And then it got really uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> and we had slept together like three times at this point. Yeah. It was just not, look, it was a mistake, you know. Oh. I thought at some point I would figure it yeah. out. Yeah. I never figured it out. Marseille, uh, not one time did I figure this out. Tell me how you got started in this business. Where did you? Let's 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 get it. Let's, let's get. Let's forget about this my girl. Yeah. My horrible situation. Where did? How did you get started? Where are you from? Where did you grow um, up? I grew up in the South Pacific in Fiji in the Solomon Islands, but I've wow. lived in the States for a really since I was. Is like, that why you're drinking Fiji water right now? Yeah. Does it remind you of home? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Fiji, I only drink Fiji water. Fiji it's, proud. <laughs> um, it's what they had downstairs. Yeah. So is it just tap water there? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like Fiji tap water. The carbon footprint, actually, I think, of bringing Fiji water to the States. It's probably horrendous, is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, My old boss claims that he's the one who came up with the square bottle for that. When they were importing Fiji water, he worked with the import exporter that was bringing in Fiji water for the first time in the 80s. And they were bringing in this bottle. It was like, you should have a different kind of bottle. Why don't you make it square and put a picture of Fiji that people can see on it? That's what he says that he did that. Wow. I don't know if it's true or not. You know he, what? He always claimed that that that's was a very, That's a nice story. It's very distinctive. Yeah. It's almost as good as Mercea telling us <laughs> where she's from. <laughs> Mercea, please continue. Like how she grew up in Fiji. But why would you lie about creating a bottle? You know what I, I mean? Know. Like that's, that's like, that would be a weird thing to lie like, about, right? I, yeah. I believe. I don't know him and I believe him. Yeah. yeah. Why would you just? It's plausible. Yeah. 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 Okay. I get it. Please continue. I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, no, I'm good. I'm done. <laughs> no, so, so tell, so tell us how how did this happen? Where did you come from, and how did this? Start? Oh, you, acting. How did acting? Yeah, just life. Where did you? So you oh, grew man. up. Where did you grow up? Actually, well, Michigan and then Virginia. I would say mm-hmm. primarily. Where in Michigan? Uh, outside in Arbor, Chelsea. I've okay. been there. You, know, you have. I have been to Michigan. Why? Uh, my girlfriend's from Michigan. Where do you know where? She's I from hope. like uh, Losser, uh, oh, just it, just north of. And what's uh, your girlfriend's name? Rachel, <laughs> you bastard! Uh, just north of uh, of uh, Detroit, just just oh, outside okay. Detroit. Okay. But we went to Ann Arbor, and we went to a a, a bunch of cool stuff in Ann Arbor. Ann Arbor's aw, it's a wonderful, great town. wonderful. I got, great yeah. town. I got a terrific sandwich there. I'm just kidding. All right, no, continue, <laughs> continue, continue. Um, I don't know, and then ended up in LA when I was like, I don't know, I nineteen ish. Nineteen. I always say something different. I feel like I was probably around nineteen. I need yeah. to fact check myself, but. Yeah, around there. Yeah. Um, Read your own Wikipedia page. I know. <laughs> Did you know anybody in LA when you moved here? No, I had I had drove here by myself, and then I was meeting a girl who was like a friend of a friend kind of thing who I'd never met, and I stayed with her. She'd wanted a roommate, so I stayed with her the first couple nights. We found an apartment. I stayed there on Fairfax, and then we found like a two-bedroom, um, and I lived with her, which... Then it turned into like, I don't know, there was like a cocaine orgy situation. So I, I left that. What? But, <laughs> what, is that um, what does that mean? I was so naive, you know, I'd never. So there were people that would still be awake at like six or seven in the morning. Sure. I thought they were waking up. So I'd get up to be go to yoga and be like, good morning. And there's like rolled up, you know, $20 yeah. bills and yeah. stuff. And um, yeah, it was just a world that I kind of knew nothing about. And it took me a long time to realize that that was happening. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I'm so prude. I'm like, nah. <laughs> well, guys, want, do you guys want to shake? <laughs> <laughs> I'm make, I'm making, I'm making my own salsa. If anybody wants yeah, to. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, but it all, it all sort of unfolded, obviously, well. You know. So yeah. did you come to Los Angeles to pursue acting? Like, was that the reason, or you just I mean, were like, I'm sick of winter. I'm out of here. I think. At the time I was modeling and mm-hmm. so I sort of wanted to do that. I don't okay. know that I, I wanted to act, but I didn't really know that I could. I didn't really understand that it was a job that I could support mm-hmm. myself doing. Um, and then, but yes, like wanted to. Mm-hmm. I think it took a while to realize that I sort of was too uh, scared to admit that it's what I wanted. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. It wasn't like I knew since I was a little girl or anything like that. Yeah. I think I just really wanted validation. So I was like, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> How do I get it? You're so funny. Did you ever uh, do like improv classes or, or I, UCB or? I did like, a, like the first level. I did like the first level of Groundlings and then maybe like one or two levels of UCB a long time ago. Yeah. Um, and then some stand up, which I was. Oh, really? Oh, oh it wow. was so, so hard. Where no, it doesn't. Do, where did doing you do it? Doesn't, it? I did it flappers. Oh, right? oh I did it God. at um, just all the like, uh, what's the place in the 
I'm going to start thinking. The ha-ha? Like, yes, the ha-ha. Yep, was, this, there. was this recently within the last <laughs> no. few years? Uh, no, it was maybe five years ago. Whoa. Um, but it is so difficult. I have, I mean, I, I obviously have a lot of friends that are great at it, and I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, they really put in the time, and they're so good. I just wanted to face a fear. I totally get that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's great. Yeah. Um, what was your? Do you remember what your first acting job was when you when you got yeah. here? What Pterodactyl. What? 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 what is that? Oh, don't you want to know? <laughs> oh, I, yeah. wait. Uh, we're, I'm gonna get. I'm getting into this with you. It was the number this. one movie on the Sci Fi Channel Just, you at know, the time. Steven, uh, Holy cow! Pterodactyl spelled with a P. Yeah, Pterodactyl. Yeah, you're such a <laughs> and it was shot in Prague, so I was like, oh, "I'm awesome. gonna do a movie." Oh my god! I'm gonna nice. do a movie overseas. Oh my god, pterodactyl! Yeah, here we go. Fancy. Uh, wow! Oh my god! And what it started one of the, one of the greatest actors of our generation, Coolio. Coolio. <laughs> Terrific, oh, sweet. First I gig. love Coolio. He got off the plane and he had this massive bag of weed. <laughs> And he pulls it out of his backpack on an international flight. And I was mm-hmm. like, dude, what? You yeah. can't, how, how, what? He's Coolio. Yeah, mm-hmm. he is Coolio. Also, yeah. if you ever watch any TV show and they have like a celebrity version of some kind of uh, like game show or whatever, Coolio was always on it. Every single celebrity version of any game show I've ever seen, yeah. Coolio has showed up. Is at he least still once. doing, I mean, I haven't seen him since. I saw him not that long ago on a celebrity cooking one. Oh wow! Wait, I'll watch anything he's in. Still, yeah, he's entertaining. Like I gotta say, like I will, I enjoy watching Coolio. Oh, I don't know why. I, just, I, I, I like a little Coolio in my uh, in my lunchbox. <laughs> um, you got to work on Just Friends with yes. uh, Ryan Reynolds. with Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, but then but then you really got to work with him on the, in the changeup in the changeup. Yeah. Um. W- so you knew him in 2005, but then you also knew him. You know, well, you know. Yeah, Just uh, Friends was just while. like an alternate ending that they didn't use that I okay. did. And then um, Change Up was He Sucked My Tit. Wow. But wow. it was a fake, it was like a bodysuit. So it what? wasn't really yeah, that no, no, much I of a thrill. That. It was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> what What was the difference in, uh, did you feel like he changed as a as he was kind of getting, like growing up? And I just think he's an ama- I think he's hilarious. Was that yeah. Alanis Morissette era Ryan Reynolds? Uh, I have no idea. Not the change no. up. The change up was a few years ago. Okay, yeah, that's Scarlett Johansson era. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think they were on there. Or, I don't know. Whatever. I can't tell. He's had so many. So many these, beautiful. Right, I think it was right after Green Lantern. Smart women is when he did the change up. Oh, right, right after around, the right worst around. movie I've seen in five years. <laughs> hey, you know, everybody Which you made me go. Yeah, watch. but but you know what's amazing? He redeemed himself so he's fucking hard so in Deadpool. Good. Oh my god, mm-hmm. he's amazing. He's and he was so... great in that movie in the change up. He was great. In that yeah, too. he's always like I just yeah. I think the world of him. I think he's so. I, he's I, very entertaining. Like he's he's a likable guy on screen. Yeah, yeah. He, and he's dynamic and he's funny and he's witty. He's wonder. He's so wonderful. Wonderful. That's I loved great. working with him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, Matt, you know, real quick before we continue, um, I had a weird thing recently. I had a, another fireball moment. A uh, fireball moment? Yeah, you know, like a fireball moment. That's like when you drink fireball whiskey and then uh, just, you know, something amazing and extraordinary happens. Mm-hmm. You know, like cause when you drink fireball whiskey, you never know. Yeah, what's crazy happen. stuff happens. Crazy right. stuff happens. Yeah, no, it's true. So, um, you know, we were uh, we were doing the nighttime show live and having this you know great time, and everybody was having fun. And as the night was coming to an end here at the you know Hollywood Improv, mm-hmm. I uh, I did uh, uh, two shots, mm-hmm. you know, at the bar. Um, really great stuff, and uh, of uh, of the of Fireball. And then uh, I started wandering to my car, but somehow I got lost on Melrose. I turned down a corner. I turned another corner. I turned a different way, and I ended up in this forest. Um, mm-hmm. which I, I guess now is a park that's nearby, but I, uh, it was a much bigger park than I've ever seen before. Mm-hmm. So now I'm wandering through this park at like two o'clock in the morning. It's very, very dark and I can see the trees and you can hear, you know, everything buzzing. And I swear to you, out of nowhere, I see Bigfoot. Wow. Yeah. Like the Bigfoot. The Bigfoot. He comes. Did he look like uh, Harry and the Henderson's He Bigfoot? was ve- like, just like, just like that. <laughs> wow. Like very kind of ape-like, but very, very tall, really huge muscles and gigantic. And he comes around the corner and I froze. I was very scared. All yeah. Right? I think if you see Bigfoot, you got to stop. Oh yeah. Yeah. I stopped. I got real scared and I look over and I go, I go, oh my gosh. Uh, I go, Bigfoot, it's, it, it, are you Bigfoot? Yes. Bigfoot. That's what Yeti he said. Bigfoot. 
I said, oh, wow. Uh, well, uh, hey there, Bigfoot. It's a, it's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. No pictures. Oh, <laughs> I can't. I don't. Everyone wants a selfie. I don't have time. I can't. They put on the Instagram the whole thing, and they always the wrong filter. Do they face swap with it. you? Always. Oh, Every, they, I face can't the they do. They face swap with them. I it's can't a- go five minutes without the face swap. I don't like it. And you don't even think, they, like, you wouldn't even think the app would be able to recognize the face because it's so right. and enormous the and kids, different. They have no class. They just take the picture. They don't, hi, how are you? My name's Marty, what have you. No, they just, they just start, take a picture. Start flashing they take right, a picture. Away. right away. It's the, so rude. Oh, uh, the photo bomb. Don't get me started I, on the photo bomb. It's too much. Sometimes they do uh, fingers over your head. They sure. do bunny ears. I'm trying to eat a unicorn, and I, halfway through, these kids come up, and they get behind me with the thing. Thing and the, oh the, yeah we're gonna hashtag oh, I can't have it so basically I get I Matt you know I was mm-hmm. I was very hungry and so I turned to Bigfoot and I said uh, hey Bigfoot do you want to maybe go to Cantor's I would love to go to Cantor's yeah mm-hmm. it turns out Bigfoot is like a huge fan of Cantor's of course yeah he's like he said his favorite kind of fish is. Gefilte, uh, gefilte fish. fish. Gefilte fish. Yeah, yeah, so we go there. We have some gefilte fish. We have a nice matzo ball soup. A nice soup. I had one more shot of fireball whiskey, mm-hmm. and out of nowhere, out of nowhere, I'm not kidding you, he vanished. Wow. Yeah, I'm telling you, fireball whiskey, you never know what kind of adventures you're going to have. All right, I let's get back to the show. I don't pay the check. Um, have you ever worked with anybody that you uh, that you di- that you didn't enjoy? Stay, Stevie Clickman. <laughs> I loved working with Stevie. Is there anybody, anybody in particular? Any, I mean, you could just you don't have to. You know, I that, I but. never say anything negative. Yeah. You don't have to identify him. Just tell us a story. Yeah, if you have a oh. story. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, sure. There was someone who was, we had a makeup scene and he was so aggressive in like a really uncomfortable way. Like mm. not, you know, you kind of like do whatever you need to do for the scene, but it was really um, off-putting and creepy and like uh-huh. really, Ooh. really unsettling. Was oh. he someone that we would recognize the name of? Yeah. Hear it? Yeah. Ooh. But I've done, I've done so many, I don't feel bad saying this because I've done so many makeout scenes. There's yeah. no way you would track who this is. Did you watch? Is it somebody who I've already <laughs> mentioned on the show that I enjoyed a show? No, 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 <laughs> okay. no, no, no. Oh that's, that's the person oh. I thought of was, God. was Charlie, but no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he was lovely. Okay, great. He yeah. was lovely. I've worked with him a few times. He was yeah. lovely. Oh, that's Good. Okay. I like that. Yeah, I'm a big Charlie Sheen fan. I always have been. Like, I don't care oh, yeah. what craziness he gets into. I'm just like Charlie Sheen. Uh, I have a Charlie Sheen candle sitting on my uh, on my desk in my in uh, my house in my awesome. place with his face on it. Yep, it's, why? It's a, it's a sculpture of him. That's mm-hmm. a candle, and it says "winning" across oh. the bottom. <laughs> that's awesome, and it's huge. It's like it's you know it's a big giant. It's like you know foot and a half, two feet tall. Oh. And I got it at Hyena. In, uh, What's that? In Burbank. It's What's like, hyena? Hyena is like a. Sh- it's like a gothy. It's an shop. animal that preys on. <laughs> their, it's, it's like a, a weird, like gothy art shop that's also a, a florist. Oh, it, here's okay. here's what I, very a uh, small story, but very quick. Uh, it was a a great gothy art shop that I'd go and buy weird stuff from, right. and then the guy started running out of bit going out of business because he couldn't make enough money. And his girlfriend runs a florist shop, uh-huh. and she was like got kicked out of there. They were gonna they were gonna get you know remodel or whatever, right. and she was like. Hey, you know what? How about we just combine the two? Oh, that's mm-hmm. and, and so and, and they did, and, and so it's now it's working great. And oh, it's a I company's love going flowers. Well. Awesome. Yeah, and you go in there, you buy flowers from her, and you buy a you know severed head <laughs> from somebody. It's now terrific. I want to support them. <laughs> you that's should cool. go check it out. That's it's very great. cool. Yeah. Um, you were on a TV show that uh, I, I don't know how many episodes you did of the show, but I went to the original uh, SAG screening of this oh and i i witnessed the entire cast kind of turn on each other <gasps> in the screening oh. it was and it, it it was a very interesting situation it was called studio 60 on the sunset strip oh, oh yeah came out the exact same time as, as 30 rock 30 rock same yeah. same season same yeah. network same network yeah i believe they were or, both nbc shows. nbc yeah, yeah. yeah. Were you, how often were you, were you on that I show? I just once did or one twice? i was supposed to be recurring and i did one and then i was supposed to be the girlfriend of dl Hughley, and Mm -hmm. then i i thought i just didn't do a good job but they said the reason that they decided not to make me the girlfriend was something at the time like 
having like a interracial couple was not something that like was that well received apparently but i don't really know i don't know the tr- yeah. i don't know really what happened i was like oh maybe i just wasn't good well um, that would be a weird way to cover up anything else it's yeah yeah good point yeah. And also the show only yeah. lasted like 12 episodes it didn't even make yeah, it no no no, no. it did 22 episodes 22, so 22 episodes wow. yeah. here okay so real quick here's the quick story uh a, a little sag sag screening thing yeah. of the first episode it was matthew perry amanda pete bradley whitford stephen weber D.L. Hughley, Sarah Paulson, mm-hmm. and uh, and and uh, some Simon Helberg from. Um, That's a great cast. Yeah, yeah it's a great cast. cast. So they're all sitting there across the the you know the panel, and someone goes like this. Someone goes, "Hey, quick question. Um, how do you feel like uh, you know the characters will develop over the next few seasons? Like, do you feel like?" Uh, do you feel like you know? Are you going to get into like more of like a Lauren Michaels type situation, or you know, is it going to change? And uh, Matthew Perry goes, it, it, "It won't make it that far." Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> and uh, Bradley Whitford goes, "Well, we hope it does." And and Matthew Perry goes, "No, it won't." <laughs> and this is at the first episode screening. Oh, wow. and and he goes, "Well." We all want it to go further. And Matthew Perry goes, oh, I was on I was on Friends. Like, I kind of know when a show is going <laughs> to go for a long time. I don't think this is going to... We're having fun, but I don't think it's going to go for a long time. I think oh, I'm going to wow. enjoy it as long as I can. That's but, amazing. Know. And everyone was like, she, like, Amanda Pete was like, Real nice, real nice, Matthew. Like it was like super <laughs> weird. Yeah, I feel like that's such a fine line because you want to be, of course, you like you always want to be positive and it's something starting and you want it to sell or be watched yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I do appreciate honesty. Like I, there's yeah. so many times where you're promoting something and you're just lying your face off. Yeah, and it's re- yeah. I kind of appreciate this. Like, <laughs> listen, is what it is. Yeah, but in that context, I don't know. Maybe not. But no, completely. Um, I, I wish know. everyone was just always honest. Well, after we did our forty-one-year-old virgin thing, and mm-hmm. they kept asking me to come back and work on other ones that he was <laughs> trying to do. Yeah, and I, I would just show up and be like, "I'm not." We, look, we, we we're, went in. I we did went some in, writing on we those did movies. Some writing on. Oh, fine. They I are mean, the worst pieces of garbage I've ever uh, worked on. Like but they I, were I haven't so seen much most fun. Of them. The, the yeah. breaking we went in for Breaking Wind, which was the Twilight parody, oh. and then I watched it <laughs> at Lionsgate. And there are things that we came up with, and it was him, it was Matt, me, yeah. and Mike Black, who's not here today, but he's normally one of our yeah. announcers. And uh, the three of us sat around. And we came up with all this weird shit, weird yeah. shit, weird, weird jokes. And, but that's yeah. so and fun. Craig yeah. put Craig put all of it into the movie, yeah. and when we got to go and watch the screening of it. All of it was in it, and it was so much fun to watch because yeah. it was like, because you're getting to see like these really weird bits that don't <laughs> right. make any you're like, sense. Why are you doing this? Why, why did we come up with it? Like, why did we even? Do I want to do more. Is he still making that? He's still did. making those movies. Why isn't he not? Why isn't he calling me? I don't know. I'm, he's he's doing one right now that is uh, uh what's it called? It's a uh, it's Die Hard, mm-hmm. but in an old age home. <laughs> Awesome. When old age home like gets taken, uh, you know, like taken hostage, right. oh, and uh, Danny Trejo plays like a janitor who's oh like, God. "Not on my watch, fucker!" <laughs> you know, it's amazing. That's funny. So it's somebody like great. busts in, is like, "Get on the floor," and then it takes like five minutes. For <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. On the floor. yeah, it's hilarious. Great. I love bit. that stuff. I love big I do too. weird stuff. I love, I, I love all of that. It's so much fun to do. What was your? What's been your favorite? Do you have a favorite job that that I, you've had? Um. I mean, the change up I loved, oh but just God. because I got to be like pregnant so and funny. things, it was just so much fun. I, I like anything where I can be big and weird and, you know, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, any like spoofs. I just did the, um, Oh, you did the, the, uh, the, the, what's it called? The 50 shades, 50 shades spoof. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 50, How was shades, that? Of 50 shades of black. Yeah. Yeah. So fun. Yeah, Marlon's great. Like oh, I, I love those movies. I was on backup for this. Was it the scream movies or the scary movies? Scary movie. Yeah. Oh. Um. They like flew the me Ferris there. Part, or? Well, they flew me there in case there was one actress who was maybe going to not show up. And really. <laughs> so I flew there to just. Well, she also knows the house bunny in another. Wait movie. and see. No, no, no. It wasn't Anna. It wasn't Anna. <laughs> um. She did, in fact, follow through. But okay. um, I got paid anyways. Great. Oh, cool. That's yeah. fun. Yeah. That's now, fun. talk about parody movies. You should tell the story about the first actor you had lined up for 40 year old, 41 year old virgin. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. So, wait, okay. Way back. Way back. Yeah. 41 year old virgin who knocked up Sarah Marshall <laughs> felt super bad about it. If you yeah. haven't seen it, go watch it. 
Uh, it's absolutely horrendous and ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mercedes in it and plays kind of the Catherine Heigl. I guess role, so. Yeah, all of? the females, yeah. all the females yeah. in all those movies. I play uh, Seth Rogen in all the movies. <laughs> yeah. Kind of do my best Seth Rogen impression, yeah. and um, which is really weird because we like constantly perform with Judd Apatow now. Oh and, really? Yeah. And he stand up a lot. He we- got back into stand up. So he's here's, here's an now. extra little fun weird thing. <gasps> the director of uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Nick Stoller, directed Storks. Oh. Wow. So and he doesn't know that I was in that movie because like, it's offensive. I mean, it's, it's actually kind like, of offensive yeah. to those movies. Yeah, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? At this yeah, point. It's all- too late to cut you out of the movie yeah, now. Too late. <laughs> too late. Too late. Too late. Sucker. Deal with that, suckers. You should show up to the premiere, <laughs> hand him a DVD of it, and be like, watch this. Watch this oh, movie no, that no. we did that made fun of your movie that was a way better movie. <laughs> but it was really... Okay, so here's what happened. Here's what happened. Originally, to get the money to make that 41-year-old virgin movie, um, what's his name? Uh, Craig made a, a fake little teaser thing, mm-hmm. okay? And um, he asked me... Uh, well, he... he we we went and shot it. And I I went and shot with him as yeah. Seth Rogen, and they had this actor who was his name, uh, Lou Santini. Lou Santini who looks exactly pull like pull up a picture of Lou Santini on your phone, Glazer. So exactly like Steve Carell. Like he's done like Steve Carell impression like impersonations and stuff. Like he's yeah. getting oh, wow. hired to be like an impersonator. Okay. Lou Santini. All right, so this guy was playing Steve Carell in the movie. Okay. That was it. Okay, movie gets greenlit to go shoot this movie. Show her a picture of the guy, and if you're at home, go take a look at this guy so you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. All right. Okay. So that was the guy. Okay. okay. So they're like, and he did yeah. a great impression of him too. It was really yeah. funny. So we're like, this is this is the guy. This is the movie, right? Movie gets greenlit. They go to shoot it. They make him an offer, and he goes, "Yeah, I really don't think like it's like worth it to me to be in that movie. Like, I feel like it's like really degrading after doing and- that whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's well- like, I just feel like I should. If I'm gonna do it, I need to get paid a lot more money. It just seems like a waste of my time, oh my and God. you know, I just I don't really want to be known as somebody else. I'd like to be known as myself, and all this oh. other shit. And so Craig was like, "Well, fuck, what do we do? Like, yeah. We need we need to get somebody else quick. Do you know anybody?" And I was like, "I know Brian Callen. Yeah. He's gonna be a little more expensive, but you should try but to get hilarious. him." Hilarious. Yeah. And so they offered it to Brian Callen, and Brian, as a favor, said yes. Yeah. And then he was amazing. He's, he's so good. He was he's amazing. so funny. Yeah. But that ended up being the story. And then the uh, the other piece of this weird story is that when when I went to Montreal, not Montreal, um, Vancouver to yeah. go shoot the Big Time Rush movie, I'm up there. We're hanging out. We're shooting. I'm walking down the street with a bunch of the cast and a bunch of guys walking down the street go, oh, my God. Wait. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey. And they were like, whoa, whoa, no pictures, no pictures. Right. And they go, no, no, not you guys. That guy, hey, are you the guy who played Seth Rogen <laughs> in the 41 year old version? I was like, get the fuck out of here. It Shut turns out. Up. Uh, then this is a true like story. MTV Canada shows it all MTV the time. MTV Canada apparently. bought it. Much, much music or whatever. Mm-hmm. They, yeah, oh the, the God, MTV's Canada, MTV Canada yeah. bought it. And because they bought it, they show it all the time. That is so <laughs> All the time. And it's like a huge thing for the stoners yeah. and the kids up oh, there. Yeah. And College it's fu- kids I mean, love it's, it. It is fun. It's quirky and funny and wacky and weird and like, you yeah. know, it's entertaining. Yeah, oh it's a God. little ridiculous. Someday I'll watch it. Yeah. If you go up there, <laughs> good luck. Like, yeah, you'll get mobbed in Canada. Oh, people yes. are going to get nuts over you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, oh, I was, I was yes. just there for four months. I didn't get nothing. <laughs> what you, what were you doing up there? Where They're were big fans of Seth Rogen. Yeah, yeah, yeah apparently. They don't like you. <laughs> That's all it. Where were um, you shooting up there? I, the Impastor shoots there. Oh, oh cool. God. So we With did that. Michael Kuzinski? Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum. Mm-hmm. And Mike Kaczynski, yeah. Do you know him? Yeah. Oh, he's so great. Shout out Mike Kaczynski. He's yeah. a lovely human being. I think we just talked about having Rosenbaum on the show. So He's hilarious. I, I love Rosenbaum. He's always been nice. So tell us about Impastor. What yeah, is what's the show? It's uh we just finished the second season. It airs um uh September. It airs in a couple weeks. Um mm-hmm. on September twenty eighth at ten thirty on TV Land. Cool. Um but it's about so Michael Rosenbaum plays like a criminal who impersonates a pastor, moves to this tiny little town. Mm-hmm. I play the church se- uh, treasurer who obviously um, mm-hmm. who then mm-hmm. has a dark past. Oh, dun 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 dun! And it's uh, it's a comedy, but it's really there's a lot of drama, there's suspense. It's it's well sort done, of a dramedy, kind type. of. But it's like, but it's a mystery too. It's really mm-hmm. sort of everything. It's a half hour, but it's cool. everything. It's a really interesting, neat. Hasn't really been. There's nothing like it. How many episodes per season on that? Ten. Oh, it's not. You can binge that and 
so fast. My yeah. wallet would like more than ten. But <laughs> <laughs> how many of you? How many? How, is it this first season or second? Second. Season? So we've okay. shot twenty. I've shot twenty Whoa. episodes. Mm-hmm. Where do you stay when you're in, in Vancouver? Um, for the pilot, we did the Sutton, the Sutton Hotel. <laughs> I stayed there too. I love that place. It's great. Yeah, it's um, very slutty. And then I got apartments. Yeah, you know, an apartment yeah. for the season, obviously for wow. washer and dryer and stuff. Oh my god, that's so great! It was fun. It was so fun, but it's oh, weird because we did that. I did was doing that in episodes at the same time. Came back and it's so strange to then be done. Mm-hmm. Like it's such a weird yeah. feeling to go. I mean, anyway, to not work. It's yeah, such a I weird. Like I feel so today. weird. Yeah, when you're yeah. not working, it's really. weird. Oh man, I have a really hard time with structuring. Like that's why when you wrote me yesterday, about yesterday to come, I was like, yeah. yes, I'm here. I'll do it. I don't care this. Yes, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I know, I know. It's a weird, it's a weird uh, time when things like right now we're you know a couple. We're like a week and a half away, two weeks away till a yeah, week and a half away till the movie comes out. Oh, and I'm wow. like so excited for it to come out, but I'm also kind of like, mm, I wish it was still like a month or two. I know because the prep is because, what's so fun. Yeah, because all the prepping for it to come out is yeah. exciting. And then once I it comes can't out, wait for it to come out so Stephen will stop posting about it on Facebook. <laughs> I post about it every day. I post about it too. Well, it's much. a huge it's deal. Really, yeah. Nah, yeah. You should be posting about it. It's a, he calls me, he's like, hey, let's go eat at the Grove for lunch. And I'm like, Okay, fine. Well, I don't care about the Grove. Why do you want to go there? We go there, and then the whole place is just plastered with stork stuff. I'm like, this is why you wanted to come here, isn't it? He's yes. like, yeah. I mean, it's amazing. Do we have voice of it? Like, that's my dream. It's amazing. Celebrate yeah, it. You've done I'm voiceover still... work, too, haven't you? I mean, not like that. I mean, I've done two. I did BoJack Horseman, and then I did. You did? Well, who did you yeah. do on BoJack Horseman? I played, they so typecast me. I played two blonde-haired, big boob. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> who did who? Which which episodes was it? In the uh, first season great or? question. Um, not the first season. Oh my god, see my memory. I don't. You know, know what's really funny is, is I uh I actually started watching BoJack Horseman for the first time this morning. I watched oh. six episodes. Oh, it's in a, a row. It's so like it's so it's good. It's so good. Yeah, it's, it's so funny. I have to like rewind and watch it. I miss like half the joke. There's so many. It's a rapid fire. Yeah, it's really. good. I didn't know what the show was about until I started watching the first episode. Like I <gasps> never. I had no idea what it was about. And then I turned it on and I was like, oh, it's really, really it's Have you watched so it? Good. Oh, it's great. Oh my God. Have you yeah. watched it at all? I no? tried. I couldn't get into it. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh well. You know. it, it didn't do it for me, but that's all right. Matt watches Antenna TV. Do you I know do. what that is? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's the he best. He got me into that. No, I don't know what that is. Antenna TV is like. They show TV shows oh, from like God. the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Oh. So like on the weekends, you can watch The Partridge Family, you can watch Small Wonder, you can watch Doogie Hauser. And then uh, every the, night they show an old Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Oh, well, that I'm into. The other ones I'm not as into, but the Johnny Carson I would be. That's like, amazing. And if you it. stay up late late enough, you can yeah. watch Dear John with Judd oh, Hirsch. Oh, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> One of the best sitcoms. <laughs> the best sitcom from 88 to 92. I'm telling you, that show was You're great. out of your damn mind. <laughs> They, I was watching. Go back and listen to our Jerry Burns episode. Oh God! I was watching the uh, the ten, that the old Tonight Show yeah. the other night, and it was Raven Simone was on the show. Oh, oh as a and kid, I was, as a kid, and I was like, Wow, this is so cool! I can't wait to watch Raven Simone. She has she's so exciting and she's got so much. She's so funny yeah. and spunky and fun, and she was just boring. <laughs> she was just. Oh, she just comes nervous. out. She was like. Uh huh. Yeah, no. Because yeah, uh, she was like five or something. Yeah, she's like, I went like, yeah. to the to the mall with my family. I don't know. And he's like, so, uh, so, uh, you, uh, you, do, you, uh, do, uh, what's your favorite uh thing to watch on TV? And she'll go, uh, cartoons. Like, I guess. <laughs> uh-huh. Kind of good. I mean, like, do, he's like, do you, like uh, are yes. You, are you <laughs> are you ever able to stay up and watch uh your own show. my my show that I'm on? No, just like real just one word answer. One word answers, Aww. and I was like, God, this is so. I, mean, I, saw, I saw one a couple hard. weeks ago that Robert Blake was on, and I'm watching. And I'm like, wait, wait, how did we not know he was going to kill somebody back then? Like he was crazy. He's, He's crazy. Scary. He was scary in the mid '80s. I'm like, we should have known. There are all was the he warning on the signs Tonight were there. Show for. Uh, just promoting stuff he's been on, like movies or whatever. They've had lots he did, of, he did Beretta had, in the seventies. Uh, they had lots of murderers on the Tonight Show. <laughs> yeah, tons. Um, I, we we got to talk uh, uh, about my absolute favorite show. I've watched the shit out of it, and I I really really enjoy it. Uh, episodes on Showtime mm-hmm. is uh, it's so well so done. damn brilliant. It's yeah. so incredible. Um, have you watched uh, Have you watched the show? Glazer, let me tell you. I thought we were friends, Glazer. Right. Damn it, Glazer. Nope. All right, here's what the show's about. I'll give you a little <laughs> little quick rundown. Mm-hmm. Uh, a British writer-producer team, Beverly and Sean, 
have a wonderful marriage and a hit TV show that's like a big credit. And it's uh, it's in in England. It's like this huge giant show. And basically, uh, a big Hollywood producer goes, "Hey, we want to take your show. We want to put it on American TV. How's that sound? Yeah, you guys want to come do it?" And they offer them like a ridiculous amount of money to mm-hmm. convert the show. And and it's a show about like a coach. Kind of like a coach at like a yeah who and like and her. it's like a well known British actor Great. plays the plays the coach <laughs> and they and they they're like well of course we'll come out we'll come do the show with you guys and we'll bring our British actor out here to be the coach and uh, of of the of the school like a he's like a teacher or something like this yeah. and they bring him they they bring him out and the studio's like we're gonna pass oh we're gonna gosh. pass on the <laughs> on the guy you have. We have someone else, Matt LeBlanc, <laughs> and they're like Joey from Friends, and that's and so they decide to turn it into like a coach who has like a bunch of guys in like a basketball team or something yeah. like this, and then uh, and so it, it becomes all about you know uh, it's very Americanized, yeah, yeah. and they hate it. The the two writers really mm-hmm. hate it, and they kind of grow to love it. And uh, Marseille is on the show, and she's fucking amazing yeah. oh, on the thanks. show. It's so fun. Now, Marseille, you, you've worked now. We've established with Matthew Perry, yeah. Matt LeBlanc. Yeah. Any other Friends alumni that you worked with? Um, no. Just those two. Well, one? I, ha- I had one date with David Schwimmer. Oh, <laughs> you really? had a date what? with David Schwimmer? Really? Now that's what we got to oh, hear about. Okay. Yeah, we now we're talking. Oh, so long ago. I shouldn't even said anything. Oh, come on. So. Okay. <laughs> How long ago? Oh, I mean, 10 years. Okay. What was he like? Was, was one, his eyebrows one like this? Was his eyebrows like this? <laughs> <laughs> He's super nervous. Oh, he shouldn't have what said anything. Like? No, please tell lovely. me. Lovely. Yeah. So lovely. Really, really wonderful. So why is it only one date then? If he was so oh, lovely. Oh, gosh, I don't remember. I think he, uh, maybe he was like dating someone else or went back with, I don't know. So you were the other woman with David Schwimmer? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I mean, like maybe like you, someone you else more. You helped David Schwimmer cheat on his wife? Is that what you're saying? Oh, no. oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't have even. No, it was fine. one it's dinner fine. all really long. I mean, I was. What other celebrities have you dated? Where did you have dinner? Where did you guys have dinner? Oh my God, Luke's. Oh, is that what it's called? I don't know. Is that still around? Know. It's a steakhouse. It sounds I fancy. Know, I don't know. I haven't seen or talked to him in years. Do you ever date any other celebrity type people? Mm-hmm. I ever? mean, you know it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there you go. Well, um, oh, gross! This is gonna. Get... Is it weird? Uh, no, I mean, no. I, I think you know. Stop you, asking. You, if it's weird. Just all right, ask. all right, all right, all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you date people that you are around. Yeah. You know, sure. so absolutely. Some people have been successful. Some haven't. You know, mm-hmm. right. So who are the ones we've heard of? Does call me Obama? Oh no, I'm not gonna list. I'm not gonna list the people who have stuffed my vagina. <laughs> no, no chance. That is a long oh. list. <laughs> oh, Mercia, you're hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> Any unsuccessful people we might not have? Might know of? Uh, plenty yeah. of unsuccessful people. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've been what dating. Are you, what, what are you attracted to? Like, what do you, what do you like? I'm trying to figure that out. Like, I, I don't think Do you it's like a... skinny redheads? Let's ask that question. Listen, <laughs> I'll get on it. <laughs> I will get on that. Um, I don't, I, because I'm dating. Um, sure, sure. And people ask me, and I, you know, recently been set up and stuff. So people are kind of like, what do you want? It's really, it's more intangible. It's like, I want someone kind and thoughtful and, you know, it, it, the look on your face. I wish this wasn't a podcast. <laughs> kind and thoughtful. Um, you know, okay. fun, okay. funny. Kind of is there anyone in Los Angeles County that makes that description? God, what a nightmare. There are. Like there are plenty. Yeah. They're wonderful, wonderful men in my yeah. experience. Canadians so, mostly. I don't know that I've ever really? did. Oh, I did date a Canadian. Oh. Yeah, he was lovely. Yeah. Don't worry. It was only like, eh? <laughs> um Did you smell like maple I'm, syrup? You guys, I'm sweating because we're yeah. talking about dating. Uh, are you currently dating anyone right now, or are you kind um, of out on the? Not no. I mean, I've been no. on some dates. Are you with in someone. the apps? Are you doing the apps? I'm not. I have never been online, and I'm debating it. But I feel like I haven't never needed. To, I mean, not in a gross way. I just like yeah. had had boyfriends yeah. or been set up yeah. or whatever. And this is the first time where I'm like, oh, maybe I. I don't know. I'm open to it, but I feel. The, on Twitter, the millionaire matchmaker people just wrote me Ooh, yesterday, oh. and I was like, I don't want that because I don't want a man who's like, oh, my value is my money. Yeah. So they offered to set me up. Those people, the oh no no no, you know no. the TV no, show, no, the no, other no. way, go the other yeah. way. Yeah. I mean, you're the successful one. Let the other yeah. person be yeah. the yeah. sugar mama. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't um, be, don't do that. That's <laughs> awful. Also, you what, know what? The, what's a uh, what's the what's the app for? Um, what about Raya? Raya? Yeah, Raya? yeah, Raya? yeah I haven't the, done that. That's the Kate, the one that Kate's on. Kate's on that with all the celebrities. Yeah, she. Wait, who's Kate? Our friend Kate went on. Uh, when she was on Raya. 
Raya, and she, she went out with uh, Jeremy Piven and Moby. Okay. And Moby, yeah. From so how about that? Yeah, he, they thing. they both get around. I yeah, yeah. so it's like I have a few friends. Are okay, yeah. <laughs> both of them. <laughs> Well, good for Moby. Yeah. Well, good Pivot. For, look yeah. at Piven. I mean, yeah. we've had situations. Jeremy with... Piven went from playing the George Costanza guy in the show within a show on Seinfeld to yeah. being like a hot guy. Like He's that great. is a complete change in, in image. Yeah. It's shocking. Of course, before that, he was one of the bullies on Lucas. I've run with into Sheen. him on oh, right. movie Lucas. I've run yeah. into him on uh, where he's been on two or three different dates in at the, the same, same time. No, 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 <laughs> like no, no. Mrs. Well, Doubtfire. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Runs over, <laughs> changing his sweater, turning it inside out. <laughs> no, like in the same destination. Like I went to like a, a a place and I ran into him there, and then a week later I saw him there again, but yeah. with a different girl, and I was like, whoa. He's. I don't know why well, we have mutual friends, but I I feel like he's lovely. Like, I think he's. He seems like he's very nice to me when I talk. Guy. I like them. That guy's a great actor. Sure. Yeah, he's yeah. great. But that's the thing about that app, right? I don't want to be like, oh, I went out with so-and-so and so-and-so. Like, I just, you know. That's, well, you don't I do stand-up like, now, so you can't just get on stage and talk and about talk shit about that. Which is what Kate does. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, have you dated outside the industry? Like, Yeah, my ex... Uh, one of my exes, I have a lot of exes. One of them worked for Apple. We were together mm-hmm. for a couple years. Okay. Um, so that Can was you great. ask them why if you lose your password and you need to an- and you want to reset oh, your security it. questions, <laughs> they make you answer your security questions to reset your security questions because that happened to me today. <laughs> what? <laughs> I told this phone number. I want to talk I, to him. I would ask him, but I really don't care. <laughs> oh God, it's so good. But what? Like when you when you've dated when you've dated somebody who's outside the industry. You, yeah. know, you dated a guy that worked at Apple. Yeah. Um, Mm-hmm. Um, have you ever dated anybody else from outside the business? From outside, you mean I? I take this as like serious. I mean, I've gone on dates yeah. with all kinds of people. Um, but seriously, no. I'm trying to think. The, like the the last serious relationship, he was a writer. Before mm-hmm. that, um, he w- worked in radio. The one before that was Apple. So it's all yeah. Mm-hmm. It's tricky. I, I I went out on a date a long time ago with a a girl that was in med school, mm-hmm. and it was just like they just don't. Get, it's hard. They don't get it. They don't completely understand. They don't get what the schedule, to, especially. Yeah. Well, that thing of like well, I might be able to make it, but I don't know. How do you not know? Well, I you know, and things changing. That's why. Yeah. yeah I mean, I don't know. I think it can work if you the person has to be open to it. Like it worked right. with him because he enjoyed the business. He thought it was fun and like cool mm-hmm. and and liked going to sure. events and stuff. So in that case, I think it can work. But now I'm looking for something a little. I'd like someone. Probably. I don't know. I don't know what I want. I just want someone thoughtful and kind. <laughs> <laughs> what about your family? Where's your uh, Where's your family from? They're in Virginia. They live in mm-hmm. Virginia? Yeah, Richmond, Virginia. I've been to Richmond. Richmond, Virginia. Yeah, it's pretty. I went to the Highland Games of Richmond what many are, times. What are the Highland Games? Scottish Highland Games. I used to play drums and bagpipe and drum bands and we would go to Richmond. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Matt Walker oh, gets amazing. laid a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and his a, kilt. He's, he's like, come regular, and get it. That's, that's a regular that was inside a skirt right there. It was a little wearing kilt. Yeah. It's like him with the, him and Piven. Very hey, similar. Carnegie Mellon. Same Z. Playing the pipe band. It's right. amazing. Yeah. When, uh, what do your parents do? Um, my dad worked for the United Nations. He doesn't Whoa. anymore. And then my mom um, did like human resource stuff, worked at a retirement community, worked at a book. What like, did your dad do at the United Nations? Um, he was helping establish energy efficiencies in third world countries. So like, you know. Look at that. None of us can ever oh, live up to your father. That's God. the problem. Oh, you can. He had a lot of flaws. <laughs> he was fucked still, up. Are they still together or no? They, yeah, they are. They're still married. Wow. I know. What do they think of you doing this, uh, being in this business? They're, you know, my my mom would not care what I did as long as you're happy. Oh, wow. If you're happy, you know, I could tell her like, oh, mom, I got mad. I murdered a bunch of people. She'd be like, well, honey, we all get angry. <laughs> yeah. You know, she's oh, very, so sweet. very, uh, very, supportive. very understanding. Yeah. Yeah. And like, you know, because I've done nudity, I've done all kinds of things and they don't. I mean, they're very open minded. They're hippie, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, that's great. Do you yeah. have brothers and sisters? I've, uh, one of each. I have a brother and a sister. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. What are How they old do? are they? they? My sister is mom. Mm-hmm. They live in the Netherlands. She's wow. I don't know how old she is. The Monroes get around. Like, yeah, well, that's not even the real name. Uh, right. I changed my name when I was eighteen because I was reading a book about Marilyn Monroe. I regret it. I'm changing mm-hmm. it back legally really? to my. I'm changing my name. Really? Can you, tell, can you yeah. debut what the name is? Can yes, you, can you my real name is Paloma Heist. Paloma Heist. And I'm legally going back. Yeah, that's actually what a actual fucking great name. name. Your that's actual... a beautiful name. Your first and last name is Paloma Heist. Yeah, that's a great holy name for an actress. Shit. Guys, that's oh, amazing, right? Guys, it's lots of validation. Than Monroe. Thanks. Like it totally is. That's I a great can't. Name. I, 
I asked like Gersh and stuff. They didn't. So work wise, I'm not going to change it because it's so confusing. Mm-hmm. Um, and even for it's great. Like my good friends are being wonderful about it yeah. and like call me Paloma and it's fine. Well, and, I'm going to call you Paloma um, now. That would be great. Yeah. I would right. love it. Right. Um, it was. Oh, I was going to tell. This is please. super inappropriate. Go, oh, go ahead, please. Okay. That's what we specialize um, in. So I, d- I just read more recently, you know, within the last year, changed my name. And um, so that's how I introduced myself with dating. And I was you know, getting it on with a guy and he's like, oh, Paloma. And I was like, stopped. I was like, who? (laughs) 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 I wasn't wasn't used to my own name. poor guy can't win. Oh, holy shit. Anyway, anyway. (laughs) This is Paloma, bitch. (laughs) I'll fucking kill her. (laughs) Have you ever had a thing where people thought like you were like catfishing them because like they're like oh Paloma no that's not those photos are Marseille Monroe like yeah, does that I mean, happen just where it's weird like I was at a barbecue recently and you know my friend's trying to be respectful mm-hmm. by introducing me as Paloma and then and so I say that and they're like what did you say your name was and I go Marseille and then I'm like oh this they think I'm insane yeah, it's, like it's still it's a weird yeah because yeah. I Marseille was part of my name I started going by it when I was like 15 anyway mm-hmm. it's boring but so like middle name or yeah mm-hmm. so it's like it's just it's weird to now be going back but it's I, I just want to I want to be who I really am you know so and then my sister changed her name she, she did from yeah, what to what? Uh, from Natalie Glickman mm-hmm. to Natalie London legally was the London it. just cuz yeah uh, we're, we're from London Ontario okay so oh, she cool. wanted to change it to that and she's in music so she wanted oh, to and it's beautiful was cooler you know which yeah. makes which makes sense I love I mean it's really not hard to change your name it's inexpensive mm-hmm. it's just a huge pain you have to go to mm-hmm. city hall and do all this stuff but it, anyone can do it I, I think it's I think you should name yourself are you incorporated do you have a I am yeah, yeah me too. so it costs $500 to change the name of that wait page me <laughs> anyway <laughs> why I don't Bunch know I was like assholes. for what is like, it I'm like I see it on a tax form I'm not like, gonna bother that oh though. man yeah uh, anyway wait okay here's here's a question I love to ask people when they when they come to do the show mm. um what uh, when you when when you're when you start making money in the business, mm-hmm. there hits a point in time where you make you make more money than you need mm-hmm. per month to survive, right. and suddenly you have this, and you go from literally from having very little money to having more money than than you've had in your life so right. far. You people at that point usually spend it on something fucking weird. Mm-hmm. What's the weirdest thing you've ever bought? Oh, I'm so boring in this way. I'm really responsible. Um, weird, weird, weird. What's out of the? It was I'm, just something like, a lot that you like got yourself, like something you were like, I got it. I got. Oh, get you know this. what I did get, which is not weird, but I got yeah. a big girl car. Yeah, but I got a certified pre-owned. Like I still was like responsible about it. I got a Lexus convertible. Nice. And I was like, oh, rich people do. Like no wonder they're happier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, like it's much better to have money than to have money. I was like, it's so comfortable. Um, But even that was like a, you know, and now it's, I mean, it's a 2010, so. Yeah. um, And it's starting to break a little bit. But, you know, I I, I didn't do anything. Probably the biggest thing I did is like, ooh, I eat out. Sure. (laughs) Which is a big deal. Well, when I was doing Big Time Rush, I I literally, I had uh, no no lady in my life. And so my fucking (laughs) idiot roommate who uh, I, I, I adore, but he was a fucking idiot. He, I, I, he would turn to me and be like, hey, why don't we go out tonight? I got a bow steakhouse, just you and me. You, <laughs> uh, uh, you treat. On, it's on you, bro. <laughs> <Great I'd be> like, <laughs> okay. And I would, yeah. I would take him for dinner all the time. I would yeah. take him on very expensive dates yeah. because I had no one to go with. A companionship. And, and he was my buddy. Yeah. So, but yeah. we went fucking everywhere like i mean yeah. it's funny when yeah. he'll talk to me be like hey let's go eat i'm like let's go somewhere cheap and fast those are my two rules <laughs> yeah i'm cheap like and fast can we go to togo's can we go to <laughs> del taco I go to you know my, I was, and i constantly say i'm not i'm not homeless. he's like i'm not going there <laughs> I'm not going to, can we go to panera we can compromise panera. Right, panera, yeah, that's I'll fine. Be in the middle. panera's yeah. fine yeah. soup and a bread bowl it's my awesome. huge luxury i would say is i have multiple therapists and they're very expensive so i have like a healer and i have like so a talk therapist and a, i mean well actually i'm super grounded because i have this whole <laughs> team go. of people <laughs> but that's like a have, massive uh, luxury do you have like a therapist like a like were you like a like a psychologist i have a talk talked? therapist mm-hmm. yeah um i mean they're you know who's a doctor then that's i have true. a therapist who's a does somatic experience it's like a different kind of therapy and then i have like a healer who does like flower essence what? and then i have like Reiki. Yeah, so I, that that would be my extra. I mean, it's incredibly. Expensive. Have any of your therapists been so frustrated with you that they 
told you that they were retiring, but they just lied so you wouldn't go back to them? <laughs> You're oh, such no. a piece of shit, oh, no. man. That happened to me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he got so frustrated at me. He wrote me. You know, this is why you have to have a best friend. <laughs> Glazer, you know this story? This is a true no. story. No, <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> my, my therapist, who I was going to for years, yeah. got so tired of talking to me that he, uh, and I was paying him a lot of money, yeah. and he just, uh, one time I called up, I said, hey, I'm coming in for a session. I'll come in for a session this week. And he goes, uh, oh, you didn't hear? I'm, uh, I retired. What? And I said, what? And he goes, yeah, no, I don't, uh, don't do that anymore. And I go, you don't do that anymore. What are you talking about? You're my therapist. I mean, what, what do you mean what? you don't do that? And he goes, no, 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 no. My father, my father's not well. So I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to just, I, I'm going to go live with him for a while. And I, I, that's what I'm doing. I, I closed up shop <laughs> and I was like, well, you're out. You, have, you know, all my secrets. Yeah. You're like out in the world. And he goes, I'm not telling anybody anything. Don't worry about it. I go, how am I supposed to know that? Like, that's terrifying to me. And he goes, I'm sure you'll find somebody else. Okay. Uh. A month later, I'm driving down the street. I drive by his, uh, his therapy office and I see him come out <laughs> and get into his car. And I go, this son of a bitch. Just, he quit me. Wow. I was working on my abandonment issues. <laughs> this son of a bitch abandons me. That's, that's, a, way, that's 100% true. I know all your secrets and I am telling the world on this I podcast know. every I chance I get. Wait, but he could have easily just been like cleaning his office. Like you don't no, really know. No, 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 he's no. Still, no. no, he's still I there. Call, I call over there sometimes on a he's block number there. and he's still there. What he's the a fuck? rat bastard. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Greg, <laughs> you piece of shit. Right? A guy yeah. who's supposed to get you more in touch with yourself lies. Because uh, he could say, I like even my one talk mm. therapist said, you know, I feel like this other person can help you more than I can. Yeah. So she referred me to this other person. Yeah. So like she could have easily said like this, you know, we're not going anywhere i feel like i'm not helping you anymore like sure there's a million things without i don't know i went to a therapist many years ago and the therapist said to me uh i i'd say i told him a story about having sex with with this girl and and after i told him a story he goes oh my god that's crazy (laughs) (laughs) that's the craziest thing i've ever heard in my entire life (laughs) how crazy i was like all right i I shouldn't probably go here again oh man this is uh hurting my feelings a little bit what do you, what do you, what are your uh, what's your guy like? Is it well? Nice I have guy two women girl? and one one man, mm-hmm. so it's really great because the man is very like, well, that guy's an idiot. Do this, yeah. and my the female is much more like, okay, well, what feels good to you, and how do we express what what you might want by what feels good? So it's very like it's great to have both. Do you yeah. ever get your feelings hurt by jobs yes. that you do oh. <laughs> by 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 roles? Do you ever get you ever get uh, has anyone as like a studio or? A, but you mean by roles I don't get or ones no, no, I get? No, no, no. roles that you get. Like, let me tell you. Here's why. I know where you go with this. Well, <laughs> no, no, you don't. You don't know. Like, I don't know if you know this. Episodes uh-huh. on episodes. Uh-huh. Your um, your character uh-huh. is old. Old. Yeah. But nobody knows how old, and they can't place how old you are right. on the show. Right. And when the first time I saw that, I'm very protective of my friends right. and uh, and even of Glazer. We talked earlier today and yeah. there was something that happened yeah. with Glazer where I was like, I don't, I don't like that. That kind of rubs me the wrong way a little weird. bit. And I, we, we had been, you know, we're friends and yeah. I watched you on the show and I was like, well, I don't like that they're doing that. But I, uh. I mean, I get it. It's great comedy. And it's absolutely right. hilarious. But does that kind of stuff ever bother you? Have you ever felt like somebody had kind of hurt your feelings? And well, stuff, that you know? didn't, that that specific one didn't because um the whole thing was that she had had plastic surgery and so and I didn't the weird getting the job wasn't it well, it was a little bit like thank you question mark um <laughs> but it's weird like being out and people who think I really am like in my fifties because of that show mm. which has happened multiple times but that works in my favor because I'm there yeah. I, people just tell me how great I look, look great I'm, I'm thirty four yeah so I'm like um but it's happened where maybe you know the character. It's happened where someone might be like, oh, you're so right for this thing. And then the description, you know, even um, there was a job I got offered where uh, two different friends called. One was a producer and one was a, one was a showrunner and one was a writer. And they're like, you're perfect for this thing. Will you do it? We don't have a script yet. And I was like, yeah, of course. I know you both. Like, yes. Mm-hmm. She was like, had just been released from a um, mental institution. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so shit. I was like, guys, should I be offended? They're like, no, it's because you could be funny. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. It's because um, I have three therapists. Yeah, That's why. Yeah. Um, but I, I wasn't offended. I really feel, I mean, joking aside, like I feel pretty secure and fine. And yeah. I tend, I don't really get rattled by that kind of stuff. See, Stephen, I thought you were going to bring up the time when you were auditioning for that role and you saw what the role was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
I, I auditioned for a, this is a long time ago though. Oh yeah. I mean, this is like 12 years ago. Yeah. I auditioned for a part and the, the character's name was ugly fat guy. <laughs> oh yeah. That's horrible. That is yeah. horrible. That's pretty bad. That's the horrible. Lady, the lady even said it when I signed up, she goes, you're here for the role of ugly fat guy. Oh, <laughs> no. Went, Give him yeah. a name. Yeah. yeah. Like, Ted. Lazy, Can it be right? Ted? No, yeah. that's not okay. Gary. No. Did you do How I, How I Met Your Mother? I did, yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you like doing that show? I love doing did that show. Did you date Barney on the show? Um, I, my character, uh, no, he was just sort of, the whole joke was like, I had on a big puffy coat and like, they just talked about how good my body was, but we never saw it. Ah, oh, that's um, funny. so that was like the whole bit. It was good. really funny. It was a great, it was a great episode. I loved it. What was it like working with Neil Patrick Harris? Good They're guy? lovely. He, I didn't have as many scenes with him. Um, it was more with Jason. Okay. Um, they're, gr- they're just great. And I've known Kobe. Yeah, everyone on the cast seems great. Yeah. yeah. She and Taryn, I did my first ever TV show with her husband, Taryn Isn't- Killam. Colby wow. in a new movie coming out soon? I She's think I in her. everything always. Yeah, She's Colby's so good. Colby is in uh, Nick Stoller's uh, Netflix series, oh, Friends yeah. from College. Okay, I, I just saw her in a, a trailer for something. I can't remember what it was, though. She was like some kind of like military thing, and she was like in charge of Oh, a bunch I don't of stuff. know. She's so good. I mean, she's always she's great. doing something. She's awesome yeah. and so kind. Do you have a favorite uh, a favorite uh, celebi story? Any ce- fun fun celebrity stories? Fun celebi stories? We- Oh Before man, I need to have these on. Like, I need to have these stories ready. Oh, you, you just um, idea, just an idea. Mm, oh, I'm so guard. I'm so like protective of people I know. People are, you know, we I all mean, have weird. Most of them are people yeah. I fucked, so I don't really have that to tell. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah, this is so wonderful. Gross. <laughs> I love it's it. So gross. I love it. Uh, Do you ever date any uh, any models? No, I'm Man not models? attracted to attractive. Like, I'm not attracted to like really attractive men. Really? Yeah. That's good news for the four of us in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you that, guys. Sorry. I got asked. We out. got shot. <laughs> I was at Air One a couple days ago and got asked out by this like Greek Adonis, mm-hmm. stunning man, and I was like, I can't, I can't. It doesn't. I can't. Like, you want to be the hot one? Is that? I think I maybe That's I'm too insecure it. for it. Yeah, I, or I think they'll I leave that. or something. I don't know. I don't know. No, what I know the psychosis what you mean. I always have to be the hot one too. Yeah, you get it. You get it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Um, you're you're terrific. Oh, I, I think the world so of much. you. I'm so happy. Thanks Paloma's for having great. me. Oh, yeah. that made Paloma's my heart smile. The best. <laughs> wow. Paloma Heist. Yes. Mm-hmm. We're big fans we of you. We love Paloma Heist now. Yeah. Oh my God, this feels so good, you guys. <laughs> You're wonderful for coming and, uh, Thanks for and, having and me. chatting with us. And uh, I hope that you come back and, I'd love to, and anytime. talk about things in the future. Absolutely. Oh. Oh, and if you're not working, you should come to our live show. Yeah, I would love to. You tell yeah. me when I'm there. Absolutely. Awesome. Um, tell people where they can find you in okay, the so, uh, internet. Um, uh, on Twitter at Miss Mercea, M I S S M I R C E A. Also, my boobs have a Twitter at Mercea's Boobs. I got to follow um, that one now. <laughs> and that's all the social media How stuff do I do. How do boobs have a Twitter? How is that? A, how They're chatty. Do you type with them? Do you, like, <laughs> do you, do you take pictures like I can only use from their cold. point of view, or how does it They do selfies occasionally. Okay. Yeah. Right. This is a great thing. Right. We're definitely <laughs> following <laughs> that one now. Yeah. Do you have Instagram? Are you on? No, Instagram I have too? nothing else. All the tweets. No Facebook. No nothing. Do you do you uh, get feel like you you like social media? Or are you a social I media love person? Twitter. Yeah. I love it, but it's kind of the most. It's all I can handle. You know what's really fun about uh about. <laughs> Twitter and stuff. How many followers you got on uh, the Twitter? Folks? For not me, for me, I like I don't know twenty thousand. My boobs have like ten thousand. Eleven like eleven and a half thousand. Eleven and a half thousand. Amazing. Apparently. Now eleven and a half thousand and one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you know it's really fun thing to do on Twitter. You should totally do it. What? Is go and hit up your find your favorite brands and hit them up on Twitter and just go. Hey, it's me. I love. <laughs> Pay less shoe store. I don't know, but the, to get free and, stuff. Well, to talk to them about free things or Heck about yeah. them. Yeah, working this is with up my alley. Something like go. that. I'm telling. I don't you. know if I have enough followers for free yeah. stuff. Yes, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, really. For yeah. like a small. All right. You probably do. Yeah. You should and do then it. You take one picture with that thing. But yeah. then, isn't it? How do you? I don't know. That feels complicated. How? What if you ask and then they don't give it to you, and then you feel like it. Well, you, it doesn't, you know, then you have a therapist to talk to. Right. <laughs> Got a few of them. <laughs> well, you have a therapist more, on that's Twitter? How I feel, that's how I feel. I'm actually it. surprised I she wish has they had way more followers of the Mercedes Monroe account than Mercedes Boobs account. Well, yeah, well, like not 10, for long. <laughs> yeah, after 10, this, we'll see. <laughs> I, I, like, just knowing what I know about Twitter, that like surprised me. I was well, like, the, oh. The boobs haven't, they haven't been that active. Mm. Yeah, and you know, you can't have the boobs yeah. without... 
the Mercea. Yeah, you need the whole or thing. the Paloma. Yeah, well, they the hate each other. Yeah, yeah. They I hate mean, each other. M- m- I my booze and I don't get along. Oh, Why not? really? Well, because they want to be seen, and mm-hmm. I stopped doing nudity, and I started doing voiceover, whatever, and mm-hmm. they, you know, they weren't really into that. Oh. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, they, they're fighting with the you. Dichom- yeah. dichotomy inside Paloma's that's head. A fun, that's, a fun, uh, that's a fun fight to have. Right? I just haven't ever really... If you have any funny bits, tell me and I can post them. <laughs> Absolutely. Look, yeah. my left ball we can and come my up right with ball have real <laughs> issues. Yeah. They're constantly arguing what pants to wear. I, I could just say right now, like, the three of us could just have a writing session for Merce- for uh, Paloma's boobs. I would yeah. love... Send totally me would. anything you oh have. God, they need yeah. it. Terrific <laughs> ideas. Uh, all right. I'm... I'm, so, I'm I'm already thinking of a live bit we could do on the live show. Yeah? Great. Yeah, but we'll, we'll talk later. We'll talk about okay. it later. Glazer. Yeah. Glazer. Where can people find you, Glazer? On Twitter at Glazer Boo Hoo Hoo. I love uh, <laughs> your, you're at full screen now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Great company. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Was yeah. over there today. Uh, Merce, if you ever get a chance to go do this, uh, I did a, a Paloma, if you ever get a chance. I did a um, Kingdom Geek. Kingdom Geek, which yeah. is like a show that's. On Apple TV and a oh, bunch cool. of other stuff. It was mm-hmm. really, yeah. really fun. Oh, that's great awesome. I, I love those guys. Yeah, full great screen's place. great. Good for you. Yeah, it's a good you place look to like make you had a comedy. Good yeah, and they had sandwiches. Right? What? What place is this? They is that got every money. day with the sandwiches? <laughs> uh, yeah. We, wow. we, we, you, yeah. The whole thing with the Daily sandwiches. sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Paloma, sandwich the first thing day. I thought was, <laughs> I, uh, what, uh, why am I not here every day? Yeah. yeah. I was like, we don't have sandwiches like this at my work. <laughs> I want to do it. I want a sandwich. <laughs> what kind of sandwiches were they? His, the whole Kingdom Geek episode is just him just and me a sandwich. And sandwiches. <laughs> you know what? I told this. I told the uh, Sharper Image story about how I got oh, Sharper Image run out of business oh, that's great. on their show. And I also talked a little smack about Disney on the on the show too. I just thought it was. Did you really talk fun. about the cake head? No, no, no. I just talked okay. about how I, I think Bambi is kind of what set everything off for them on. Wait, your movie's not? Is your movie? No, Disney? our no, movie's Warner Otherwise. Brothers. Oh, okay. But I love Disney. To, no, no, no <laughs> I'd love to work at Disney someday. <laughs> yeah. But I just I just thought that it's kind of it kind of seems like when Bambi happened, like the pitch meeting for Bambi would be a funny <laughs> pitch meeting if they're like, oh, that's like, funny. All right, well, we've got these beautiful drawings that we're doing right here. This yeah. is your Walt. You're gonna love this. Here's a here's a this is this is <laughs> Bambi. Mom. Is this Bambi beautiful? Oh, she's so cute. Uh, yeah, no, she's great. Oh, we've got this uh, the mom. Here's a picture of the mom. Oh. The mom's gorgeous. Love the mom. And we got Thumper, huh? We got the little, uh, we got the little uh, rabbits, right? We got a little turtle. There's a little turtle. That's so great. Uh, you know, it's gonna be a real fun story in the forest. And then Walt Disney was like, uh, "Quick question: Is it possible that we could, uh, I don't know, shoot the mom in her goddamn face, burn the forest down? Can we burn the forest down and blow the mom's head off? Is that a possibility?" And they're like, "Uh." Uh, are you sure yes, that might set our movie tone and <laughs> on a dark path for uh, throughout history? Oh no, 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 no! That's a great idea. And do it great, early. Do it yeah. early in the film. Yeah, Almost at the beginning. Let Start them it fall off. in love with the mother and then blow its fucking head off. Let's have tears for an hour. That's yeah. Oh my god! That's Did why you... Steven's uh, Twitter is suck at Eisner. That's his suck at Eisner. Twitter. Yeah. Oh God. Uh, uh, I love you, Disney. I'll do anything with you. Yeah. Um, guys, this has been guys. so much fun. Matt, where can they find you on the internet? Uh, you can go to funnymat.com and find all my profiles there. Or if you were irritated by what I had to say, let me know at mattwalkersucks.com. Yeah. And uh, and we do. We oh, yeah. do. It's a real I, thing. I constantly do. Oh, uh, Brian, what about you? Where can people find you? Oh, who me? The guy you haven't uh, said hasn't said anything. Uh, <laughs> at no, all. We Bri- love Brian. Brian's our producer and, yeah. and runs uh runs. We this could damn not show. do this without Brian. He's without the best. Brian. We're uh, dead in the water. Without Brian, we only hear on one side of our headphones. Yeah. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at NeverFunny. Which is a lie, but he's always funny. <laughs> he's, he's, he's great. great. You're the best. You guys guy. are um, making me feel like I'm um, 10 feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> I like your glasses, too. Oh, thank you. They're Those new. I, good choice. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Brian, aren't you sensitive and kind? <laughs> uh Without and you're a, not a model either. without a que- without question. <laughs> I love I love Brian. He's the best. Yeah. Um, guys, uh, this has been way too much fun. <laughs> you can always get me at Stephen Glickman, S T P H E N Glickman on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Don't forget oh, to subscribe damn. to the Nighttime Show podcast. Leave watch comments. The watch the movie Storks in theaters right now. 
Go watch it, you sons of bees. Uh, it's, a, it's a great movie. I, again, play Pigeon Toady in, uh, in Storks. And uh, I love you guys so much for coming and doing this. Paloma, you're incredible. Thanks for having me. I adore me. the living heck you're out of you. You're the best. I'm Thanks. so happy I know you. Yeah, I'm happy I know you too. Thanks a lot for coming, and you're so great. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Have a great one. Peace out. Oh.